Hey everyone, how's it going? So I don't know about you, but I loved the new Game of Thrones House of Dragons series, and I thought all the dragons looked so cool, so I want to start drawing some of the different dragons. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Vagar from House of the Dragon. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Vagar from Game of Thrones, let's begin with the eye. So I'm going to start right about here, and I'm going to begin by making a little line that's just going to come down, and then we're going to bring it back like this. Next, starting here, we're going to make a little line that's just going to curve up for the eye. Starting here, I'm going to curve a little line around. And then I'm just going to bring a small line down like this. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and down for the eyebrow. And right here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to come down to about here. I'm going to curve this line down. And then I'm going to bring this line over till it's right about underneath the eye. Then I'm going to bring this line up and down. Now for the bottom of the mouth, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then we're going to come up and bring it over. Now starting here, we're going to go down and then we're gonna come up here. That's kind of like a little part of like big flap of skin that just kind of hangs down underneath the neck. Now starting up here, I'm going to bring this line up and down. And then I'm going to bring this line over and then we're gonna come up. I'm going to bring this line up just a little bit higher for the back. Now, we're going to start in a little bit, and I'm going to bring this line down, and then we're going to bring this up here. I'm going to bring a little line in here, and then I'm going to bring a line that's going to curve up here for the jaw. We'll make a little dot for the nose, and then we'll curve a line around here. Right here, we're going to make a little oval shape for like an indentation in the head. And then I'm going to bring this line down here and another line right under here. Now, starting here, I'm going to add a couple little wrinkle marks. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to come down and then over for the chest. Starting here, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come down. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down here for the arm. We'll make lines going to come out to a point and then it's going to come back. We'll make another one right here that does the same thing. Make a little line that's going to come down and up. Next, I'm going to bring a long line that's going to come up. We're going to make it come to a point and then we're going to bring it back down to here. Starting here, I'm going to make another long line. It's going to come way up towards the top, and we'll do that same thing. It can be kind of bumpy and everything. I'll make another one up here that's going to be a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to put one more right up here that's going to kind of curve the other way.
Next, I'm going to bring a line up to connect this. And I'm going to connect this line here. And we're going to connect this one here. And I'm going to curve this around. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and then up. We'll make another one that's going to come down and up. And one more is going to come down and up here. And then we're going to make one more that's just going to come down towards the top of the shoulder here. Now I'm going to draw a couple little bumpy lines that connect to here. Now we're going to draw a line over here for the chest. And I'm going to make a little line here. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. And then we're going to bring this back. Bring this line down. And we're going to come to a point and bring it back. Another one here that comes down to a point and back. And we'll make one right here. And we're going to go up. Next, starting here, I'm going to bring this over. And then we're going to bring this line up here with a curve. Now, starting here, I'm going to bring this line down. And we're going to curve this all the way out to about here for the tail. We're going to bring this back slowly, and as we get closer, we're going to make it get bigger and bigger. And we'll bring it right to there. And we'll make a little line and bring it to here. Now, starting over here, I want to make another leg. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to make a line that's going to come out to here. Make a line that's going to curve up and down to a point. Or make another one that's going to come out to a point. And we'll do one small one right there. We're going to bring this right up towards the neck. Starting up here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come out to a point, And we're going to bring this back. And then right up here, I'm going to make another one that's going to come out to a point. And we're going to bring it back. And then I'm just going to curve a line here. And I'm going to curve a line here. We'll also curve one more down here. I'm also going to make a line that's going to come up. We're going to go down here. Now, here's our basic drawing of Vagar. Now we need to come in here and add some of the different details. So right underneath the mouth, I'm going to make some long, broken lines. And I'm also going to add a little bit of a curve line right around here. There's going to be some little small like spikes right around the head here. So we're just going to add some of these small spikes here. And there are also going to be some small ones down here, too. So we're just going to add some of these small little spikes on here. I want to make some of these just a little bit longer and pointier. I'm going to add a couple little details kind of right around the face here. And then we'll add some extra little wiggly lines on here. We're going to make some long, broken lines coming down here for some scales. And then we're going to make some long, wiggly lines on the neck here. We're going to make a couple more, some broken lines kind of right around the neck and chest area. Then we'll add some curve lines on here 
for the claws. We'll add some extra little detail marks on here. And we'll make some more on here and a couple more leg or little lines on the legs. We'll make some lines over here. And we're going to make a couple little curved lines on here. And I like to make some extra long lines on all of these little parts of the wing here. Make some long broken lines on the tail. And a couple more just little detail spots all around here. And there you go, there is your drawing of Vagar from Game of Thrones House of the Dragon. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.